What's up guys, Matsuko Films here. Welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Today I'll be reviewing set 75338 Ambush on Ferrix. This set comes with 679 pieces. It is recommended for you just 9 and up. And it comes with 3 minifigures. This is the only set based off of the show Andor. Which overall I didn't enjoy the show as much as other people. But I still think that this set and this particular scene in the show was pretty cool overall looks like a cool set let's look at the back of the box here you have the play features shown as well as this play scene with all the main figures fighting which is obviously fun so this does come with thumb tabs but if you've been a viewer of the channel you know i don't like to use the thumb tabs i like to use a knife so I just kind of pretend that there is tape here, even though there isn't. And then I'll just cut in there and it should work exactly like tape. And then let's open this up and take everything out. Okay, so here's everything you get. You get one, two, three, four, five, and six total bags, all numbered. You also get this sticker sheet with eight stickers, as well as this brand new instruction booklet this is the new instruction booklet design that they introduced on june 1st with the mandalorians n1 starfighter let's take a look inside so you have the progression bar which is pretty cool and then yeah just the standard lego instruction experience over here and then right here you do have the pieces as well as one page worth of advertisements for other summer 2022 lego star wars set let's build this set up and we'll begin with the minifigures the first minifigure that we get in this set is luthan royale and this is a really fun minifigure it's nice and detailed and it's pretty accurate you have some back printing for this minifigure as well and a secondary facial expression so overall really fun minifigure nothing bad to say about it next up we have Cassian Andor and this is also a really nice minifigure this one's even more detailed than Luthen and this one's probably one of my favorite minifigures that came out last year it looks really good it looks accurate I'm not a fan of the blaster that they gave this minifigure. I feel like there are different blasters that you could have given him, but it works. I don't really care. You can always replace that. The hair piece is great. I like face printing as well. You also do have some back printing and a secondary facial expression as well for Cassian. Great minifigure. The third and final minifigure that we get in this set is Surreal Karn, and overall this is a fun minifigure as well. It looks kind of like a Bespin Guard or whatever minifigure that was. It's not really a great minifigure in terms of detail. It doesn't have any leg printing. The face print is just your average Lego face print that you get on some minifigures, so they didn't really create a exclusive face print. But besides that, it's a fun minifigure. I like the hat. I like the body print with the orange details. You also get some back printing, which looks good. So yeah, overall, I like the minifigure, but it's probably my least favorite that came in this set. The first build that you get in this set is this little speeder build. And it's the speeder that we saw at the end of episode three of this show. And it doesn't look bad. It's a fun looking speeder build. I like speeder bike builds in Lego Star Wars, and this one is a fun one as well. So on this speeder, you can fit both Cassian and Luthen. So 
Let's start off with Cassian. He is going to be the driver here. So you can just fit him on there just like that. And you can also grab his blaster and fit it on there. And then you can also fit Luthen behind Cassian right here just like that and you can fit his blaster on the other clip right here so two of the three minifigures belong on the smaller build of this set that's basically everything you can do with this speeder build finally we have the main build of the set this is kind of like the modified republic gunship looking ship that we saw in the show and i actually really do like this build it looks cool, it looks accurate. So let's get into the play features here. Starting off with the front, you have this cannon. It can't really move or anything. It's just there. You also have all of these front panels and you can also open up the side right here. And here you have two seats, what looks to be a fire extinguisher as well as this little crate, which you can get out later to see what is inside. But here you have two seats, and on the other side you have another two seats. So this set doesn't really come with the minifigures to fill all of these seats, but it's still pretty fun that it is there. You can just close it back up as well if you want to. And before we get into the cockpit, let's get into the wings here. You can lower the wings down just like that to put it into flight mode, I guess. And you can lift up this cannon piece and then you can open up the cockpit. And inside of the cockpit, you have a chair as well as these two control panels and then some other control panels here. All of these pieces are stickers. So every single one of these pieces that you see that comes with some detail, it is not a printed piece. It is a sticker piece, but you can fit your minifigure in there, close him up in the cockpit, and you can basically fly away, which is fun. Up top here, you do have, again, this cannon that comes with two stud shooters. These are the new versions of the stud shooter. You can also spin it around all the way so you can shoot behind, forward, sideways, whatever you want. And there is also this opening right here in the back. This has a clip with a blaster right here, as well as another clip where you can fit the blaster of the pilot. And you can close that back up it's, it looks like it's supposed to represent like the ramp, but you can't really get inside of the ship. So it's just there for blaster storage. One thing I will say that I don't like about this build is the bottom. If you look at the bottom, you can basically see all of like the filler bricks as you want to call it. And I'm not a fan of that. You can see all like these Technic pieces, some colorful bricks. You could see some green and orange bricks on the inside over here. And that's something I'm not a fan of. They could have tried to at least cover this up a little bit more. But I guess when the ship is just standing like this, it's not that big of a problem. Besides that, I am really a big fan of this build. Anyway guys, that is it for this review. Overall, the Ambush on Ferrix is a really fun set. If you enjoyed Andor, or if you didn't, it's still a fun set to get. You get the minifigures from the show, which is obviously great. And you get these two builds, which are pretty cool. I really do like this Republic Gunship Builder. That's what I call it, even though it's not the Republic Gunship. It kind of looks like one. I think the speeder is also a decent speeder build to add to the collection. So, if you are an Andor fan, this is definitely a perfect set for you. The only flaw that I really have with the set is the bottom of the ship, as I mentioned. I give this set 9 out of 10, even though I wasn't a big fan of Andor. This is still a fun set. 
with that said that is it for this review let me know what you think of the ambush on ferrix down in the comment section below also while you're down there drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more lego star wars reviews just like this one i have tons more coming up thank you guys for watching see you all in the next one bye